Wine Show. I found someone very special who knows a lot, a lot more about more topics that I don't know about. And today, she's going to be educating me. We're going to be talking about why the Democrats want open borders okay. and MS-13. So, hi. So, my name is Louisa. Yes. First of all, who are you? Uh, I'm really just a normal person. I am not a journalist. I do a lot of reading. Uh, I was a, Dem uh, a Democrat. I voted for Obama Me twice. Me too. Yes. And, you know, twice? Wow, that's twice. more than I did. Yes. Twice as much damage as I did. Yes, Go on. until Trump came along and wow. So, I've been following from, the, from his first debate. Uh, and then I learned a lot. Uh, I don't read uh, mainstream media, so that's very, very important. So most of my information uh, come from online, YouTube, uh, come from cute movements, uh, comes from uh, Twitter, Facebook, a lot. Um, so I wanted to share uh, with Stephen today why, you know, I, I kind of have a better understanding now, you know, compared to three years ago. You know, I've learned so much uh, of what's really going on. You're a big follower of Q, right? I'm a big follower of Q almost since uh, the second week. We can talk about Q. Q is a very complicated um, uh, movement. We can talk about Q later on, okay? So today we're going to talk, let's say, you know, right now, you know, our border, southern border national emergency. Is it really? Why is it national emergency? Yes, it's national emergency. The border came with so many illegals. First of all, we have our homeless people, we have our own veterans people, we have extreme poverty. We can't even take care of our own. So many of our own problems that we haven't fixed. Yes, picked. yes. You know, why would we allow anybody to come in? And not just that, they can, if they come in, we have to f take care of them instead of taking care of our own. And, you know, but why is the Democrats want open border? What do they get out of it, okay? Well, they get out of it because, okay, these people come in, um, they are all, most of them, they will vote Democrats. And it's about these votes, okay? These votes allow the Democrats to be in control of so many things that can give them later on a lot of power. You know, mostly it's still tied to uh, money. We follow the money with how Democrats uh, actually uses and influence uh, policy making. So one is the vote. The most important thing is the vote. Now, second, it's kind of really scary and shocking, okay? The human trafficking and organ trafficking and, and blood trafficking. Organ trafficking? Yes, organ trafficking as well. So, okay, so there are human trafficking, uh -huh. child trafficking. Uh -huh. uh, and, and at the same time, a lot of these missing children, um, they actually go missing. Where do these children and adults they go in and there's underground tunnels you know they hmm. this is a big topic okay so they okay. do just like Planned Parenthood their organ trafficking is a it's a very real thing of organ trafficking human trafficking okay and at the same time they bring in drugs you know these people can carry 50 pounds of drugs to pass through the border that's a lot a lot of drugs and fentanyl can little little bit of fentanyl can kill a whole person. Okay. Can you? I, I've been hearing this word fentanyl a lot, mm -hmm. and I really don't know any idea what it is. What is this fentanyl that I've been hearing about? The, the actually, I never even heard of fentanyl until Trump bring it yeah, out. Yeah, same so here. Trump, Trump is educating all of us if we listened. Trump give us a lot of education. I learned so much just listening to him. So, fentanyl is is. It's a very powerful synthetic drug, and it's cheaply made, and it's usually, it's made in China. Somehow it gets through. So really, yes, and uh, I would bring that up because Trump is working with China. Trump actually asked President Xi, "Do you guys have a drug problem?" And President Xi say, "No, we don't have problems." And President Trump say, well, "How's that?" And then President Xi say, we don't, we have death penalty, okay? 
Get caught selling drugs, get the death penalty. And then you know what Trump said to President Xi? Trump asked him if he can make fentanyl a drug problem that's also for death penalty. And President Xi said yes. So this. So fentanyl in China was not considered an illegal drug? They're selling it to Americans. Mm -hmm. But now, okay, President Xi in China agree if anybody involved with fentanyl is a death penalty. Wow, when? Now, and there's media didn't talk about this, but this not. will be a big, big difference. You know, death penalty, mm -hmm. there, the drug company never get caught. Drug, I mean, talking about legal drug company, pharmaceutical, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. But Trump is really, really <clears throat> after him, at least from the fentanyl standpoint, or maybe other drug. So drug, okay, and you cannot do that in U.S., but you're going to send them to China. That's the thing about the, the beauty of this is death penalty in China, okay? If Americans caught dealing with fentanyl, we're going to send them to China, have President Xi for death penalty. So <laughs> that will clean up some of the drug issues. Okay? So that's drug issues. Okay. And then, and then we have a lot of gangster, okay, that come across. Okay, we have some poor, really, really hardworking people, a small fraction of it. I don't know the, the majority, how, what is the percentage? You know that... You're not going to yeah. send your best people, yep. okay? You're going to yep. send the people yep. who aren't helping your country, and we're going to take them? I don't think so. Yep, yep. So there is a lot of gangster. MS-13 is a is a very scary gangster, okay? So these gangsters come in. They don't care. They don't. They come in and They're commit crime. Heartless. They're animals. Trump called them animals. They are animals. And truly heartless people. They do not They care. can chop your head off with mm, not a feeling. So... Now, so why is, why does the Democrats welcome these people, okay, other than vote and all these? That's what and, I don't know. and I mean, they, there's the obvious things. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to change the story a little bit, mm -hmm. go back to, I'm going to tell you guys a story of a, a person's name, Seth Rich. Seth Rich was a 26 year old young man. And he works for DNC. He was a Bernie Sanders fan. Okay, when he realized that uh, Hillary stole Bernie's uh, elections, and he also realized how evil Hillary was, he actually has his own USB drive. Okay, inside DNC, he downloaded the email, and then somehow he either mail it. He gave those emails to WikiLeaks, okay, Julia Assange. And that's in around Ju July 2016, okay. And when WikiLeaks published, okay, some of those emails, WikiLeaks has a 100% accuracy. It's documented. They've yep. never been wrong. When Julia Assange, when WikiLeaks published some of those emails, they still have a lot, okay, but, you know, he has to uh, double-check every one of them because, because he wants to maintain 100% accuracy. Mm -hmm. So the part that uh, that he they are published in WikiLeaks, I actually checked them in 2016. That's when the Pisa Gate came out. Pizza Gate. Pisa Gate. Pisa Gate basically is, um, is pedophilia. So... Through those emails, there were a lot of uh, FBI co uh, recognized code words like pizza, hot dogs, spaghetti. They're all referring to young children. Different types and, of pizza, yes, cheese yes, pizza. Yes, yes. Yeah, One I... big example, there was an email chain back and forth. They're mentioning Obama fly, flew in $65,000 hot dogs from Chicago. You know, please go to WikiLeaks. What could that mean? Yeah, right. First of all, White House does not allow foreign food come in. It's not really food. It's not real hot dog. Oh, and cool. no hot dog costs $65,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
pay it you five of them. It was just hot dogs. It was hot dogs. From but, Chicago, come on, you can't get the best yeah. Chicago yeah. hot dogs, right? Right. So Ooh, when WikiLeaks published this email, okay, and people are Googling Pizzagate, and of course, a few months later, Pizzagate gets a little bit too big, and they have to attack Pizzagate and send somebody and do a fake shooting to a pizzeria that in DC. Fake shooting? Yeah, it's like not really a fake shooting, just like pretend they shoot and they got arrested and then oh. saying that this 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 conspiracy is hurting businesses and try to shut people up. Okay. Uh -huh. Just like they they shut down mega hat people, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's what they do, try to silence the Pizza Gate during 2016 during the campaign time. Okay. Now Okay, so I'm still talking about, this is still during July, okay, during the campaign time. Okay. Now, Seth Rich, okay, this is after it, okay, we know that he sent those email out, okay, and the DNC knew something leaked out. So, Seth Rich was killed in July or, yeah, sometime around July 2016. They did a botch robbery on him in Washington D.C. like middle of the night. So, so Seth Rich was robbed and he died. Okay, but his cell phone and uh, and wallet was still there. It just as a botch job. Okay, and after his death. Okay, now WikiLeaks they never ever uh, named the source. It is very unethical to name the source but in this case okay Julia Assange actually speak out there's an award okay that uh, that WikiLeaks came out for for anyone who have information on the murder of Seth Rich okay. but anyway nobody took that reward but the fact that WikiLeaks actually come out for the very very first time and totally unrelated persons to speak for him. So we are just, I'm just tying that, okay, uh, that he, Seth Rich is the one who, or the whistleblower who sent to the information to uh, Julia Assange. Okay, now, yes. So later on, okay, through the Q movement, I learned so much from the Q movement, we learned that. The two person, there was two persons, the killers, are two MS-13 people that hire by DNC. Yes, I said it, you know, if no proof, they can come after me, okay. So... Careful. <laughs> come after me, we can go through the court, okay. <laughs> yes. So the two MS-13 persons that go went after and killed Seth Rich, within weeks, those two are also dead. That man can't talk. So, from my conclusions, this is how the, the Democratic Party need these gangsters to do their dirty jobs. And this is just one person's. We, you probably heard of Hillary Clinton's body count. Clinton body count. This. Yeah. yeah there's Guns some, don't kill people. Clintons kill people. Yep. So basically, this is part of the part of the reasons that Democrats they need open border for votes, for for all the criminals. There's they, they this is the parties, you know, to make money off a lot of crimes. Since we're Just talking about this. Hillary, okay, uh -huh. what happened in Haiti? Because I heard a little bit about yes, this. Haiti. Okay. We have all the technology. Uh -huh. We can control the air, the weather. We can control the rain. We can control the storm. We can create fire. We can create everything. We can create earthquake. Okay, but everything Sounds has fun. an agenda. Okay, so now when Haiti earthquake happens, mm -hmm. okay, and the whole world pour in billions of dollars trying to rebuild Haiti. These billions went into Clinton foundations, okay? Now. Heard about that. Yes. 
out of these billions, only have few houses were done. The Haitians hate the Clintons because they didn't do anything for Haiti. Okay, so money was a big, big, big thing. That's only a side up. They wanted the children. There is a woman, her name is Laura Sipley. Okay, mm -hmm. Laura Sipley is a human trafficker. She's actually has felony. Okay, so when she was in Haiti bringing like 30 something children to America, okay, they knew who she was, so she got arrested in US. We can still look her up, her name is changed. But Laura Sibley took the children out of uh, Haiti, and those children weren't uneven orphanage. There are some of them is just, some of them has parents. Wow. Mm -hmm. And Clinton bailed her out, and then mm -hmm. somehow wiped out the record. She's still, she's still somewhere powerful. This, this is how dirty the politics are. Look? Okay. So, yes. You can commit crime, that's okay. You know what, if you have, if you are a criminal, go work for DNC. You can find a position in there. That's how sick they are, okay. You'll find a position, they're always hiring. No intelligence or anything required, no clean record. Yep, and then another thing. So they got awarded all these billions, okay, and they, they have to do something, right? Instead of actually doing something, Hillary Clinton awarded a contract, okay, saying they rebuilding, okay? What they do is in, they got a contract to build a gold mine on a different part, a northern part of Haiti, which is not affected, okay? And that contract went into her brother, Hillary's brother, Rot Rotham, okay? Mm -hmm. So this contract, Okay, to her own brother who has no experience on a gold mine. So they were all along going after the gold mine. Really? Yes. That's what they used the money on was a gold mine? Yes. And the gold, yes. And it's, it's a perfect part that wasn't even affected. Huh. You know, I thought I saw a picture somewhere where it was like three houses or something. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, these are this is what the this is what the, the all the houses that the money we built. These three houses right here. Like, yep. 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 But where'd the rest of the money go? So you know what, they they got people's you know using people's compassions. The whole world donated to fund Hillary to make more money off digging out the gold Jeez. and human trafficking. And the truth is. None of the people got really real benefit. That's the sickest part. Yeah. I remember when the Haiti earthquake happened, everybody was talking about it. I was working at Togo's at the time, and the commoner people, the the, the everyday people, they come in, you know, and they say, they've been talking, oh, Haiti, Haiti, Haiti. Yep. And I just think, wow, yep. that's, that's too bad. I mean, and then and then what? The Fukushima happened a couple of years after that, and it was like suddenly Haiti wasn't so important anymore. Yep, yep. People change because it's... The 4 a.m. talking points fill with our brains with, with garbages. You know, yeah. you go in and just talk about whatever the news. You know, the angry, the anger and and hatred. It's ridiculous. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just worked up and yep. in turmoil. Ow.